Hey, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to Nick's Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we get into it, I want you to do me one small favor. I want you to hit that like button. I definitely want you to subscribe, leave a comment, and if you want to know when the next video is going to drop, hit the notification bell. Let's get right into it. The lottery. Um, a lot of people say that the lottery have not been kind to the New York Knicks since 1985 when we got Patrick Ewing. Matter of fact, the first televised NBA lottery, draft lottery ever. Uh, who was our commissioner? Stern. Stern. He did a, Stern did a, a good job for the NBA because back in them days, the NBA was, and I know a lot of you won't believe it. Some of y'all probably haven't been around as long, but yes, the garden was half filled. That's how bad the NBA was doing. And with that particular draft in 1985, when the New York Knicks acquired Patrick Ewing, it seemed to turn the whole NBA around. Uh, and I guess this is where all the conspiracy came in. Me, myself, I would say it came from other teams that were jealous that the New York Knicks did get their first pick. Uh, it was, if you ask me, um, it was seven other teams. I forget exactly, but I know Portland was involved. Uh, like I said, I forget exact teams that had a chance at the first pick. Um, Atlanta Hawks. But the New York Knicks got the pick and we drafted Patrick Ewing. And ever since then, some would say we've been cursed. I don't think it's, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. But what I do know is that the New York Knicks got the 11th pick in this year's draft. Um, and it, I'm not going to say I'm upset. I'm not even going to say I'm mad. It is what it is. I expected it. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of videos. People talking about what if the New York Knicks got the first pick or fall into the first, the top four. And me and myself, I don't like to do videos like that because I'm a Knicks fan. And I know before I started my channel, how I used to feel my hopes getting up high. And I'm, I'm not trying to disappoint anybody. I'm trying to keep everybody level headed and, you know what I'm saying? And wish the best for the team, you know what I'm saying? But to do it, do it the right way. And I think the NBA draft is the right way to build a team. I mean, you can pick up um, a glue guy here and there, but going out and getting a star and um, free agency, especially for the New York Knicks, has been kind of difficult. Even if you think about Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant coming to the Brooklyn Nets, they have been in their, their later careers. They made all their money with the teams they came from. I'm just saying, the New York Knicks, we got the 11th pick, and I'm not mad. I'm gonna be um, I'm not mad at all. Um, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping. Excuse me for a sec. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I'm trying to do something. Like I said, I am my own producer, and I am getting. I'm getting used to this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, bear with me a little bit. Like I said, uh, we got the 11th pick, and as I said in my last video. I, I do have a player that I want the New York Knicks to go out and draft. Um, but like I said, when I do my mock drafts or even when I go to, to look up players, I usually go to Tankathon. I know a lot of guys do too as well. And Tankathon, they actually, let me go over Tank, we'll go over here real quick and share this with y'all. This is let y'all see what Tankathon is working with. Like you say, they have, they have the New York Knicks drafting Jalen Doran. And I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I actually had Jalen. I did a I did a video about Jalen Jalen Duran, and um, I wouldn't be mad if the Knicks went out and drafted Jalen Jalen. But right under Jalen, you see Johnny Davis, and that's who I really hope the Knicks go out and get with that eleventh pick. He slated as the mock draft will have it to go to go twelfth, and I think OKC will take him. You know what I'm saying? Especially where they landed at. Um, OKC is about to do some special things, and this is what I'm talking about. If you look at OKC, they got Josh Giddy, uh, Gildress. Um, I forget the other kid, but they add. Um, a lot of people think they're going to go. They're going to get um Holgrim, um, uh, because a lot of people don't think he's going to go first. And uh, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, like I said before, if I'm not mistaken, let me check this right real quick. I'm working with two screens. Excuse me for a second. Let's go back back here. Yes, the Thunder do have the second pick overall. Um, and they have the ninth. 
No, excuse me. They have the second pick and and the twelfth pick. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Thunder do at number two. Matter of fact, number one, Magic. A lot of people think um they're going to take Jabari Smith. I also think they're going to take Jabari Smith as well, which will leave um my man Holgram open for um the Thunder. And I know the Thunder is looking at him like, okay, that's the piece we need. And then they come right here. And if the Knicks pass on Johnny Davis, if the Knicks pass on Johnny Davis, I'm pretty sure that the Thunder will sweep in and snatch this kid up. And they'll be built for, they'll be set for the next couple of years because they're going to have their point guard in Josh Giddy. They're going to have Johnny Davis, a well, you know, one of the top five shooting guards in the, coming out of the draft. And then the second, which a lot of people think should be the number one overall pick in Holgram, if I'm pronouncing this right, Chet Holgram. So um, this is what I'm talking about. The Knicks need to. I, I know your people say people saying, "Well, we ain't got them draft picks." We don't. We don't have that high draft picks, but we have the eleventh. Like I said, we have the eleventh pick, and then we have the what? We go down to forty-two. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, we have the forty-second pick in this draft. Yes, and they have us drafting J.D. Davidson. I didn't uh, do no research on them, but I will be doing it, doing some today later on when I get up from work, and then I'll bring a video on him to see you know just to let y'all know who he is i know a lot of people don't know who he is because i'm gonna be honest i really haven't watched him play that much um so yeah but y'all already know who i want the knicks to take with that um excuse me for a second like i said i'm messing with this this these two screens y'all already know who y'all i want the knicks to take with that pick let um, me go right here. Just give me, just give me one more second here. We moving along. Oh, let me go down here. Here we go. I'm on the wrong spot. First of all, I didn't even, you know, I'm sorry. I, I I messed up on something, but I'll bring it back to you. But right here with the 42nd pick, I would like for the New York Knicks to take Orlando Robinson. Um, and I have to give a shout out to um my man A Dub, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I got his name right. Um. He actually agreed with me. He think he likes um Robinson as well. So I'm gonna give him a shout out. What up, A Dub? I hope you hit that subscribe button. You did like and you left a comment. So let's get it on. Let's get it on, boy. Thank you for watching the show once again. A dub. All right, like I said, Orlando Robinson, I think he'll come in and he might be Mitchell Robinson replacement. So who knows? You know what I'm saying? Who knows? Who knows? Speaking of replacement. Since the draft came out, you know that there was going to be a whole lot of rumors going on. And it came out already that the Knicks, or, you know, post draft um, trades. And being all, I know a lot of people don't like Bleaker Report, but they already dropped an uh, article talking about the Knicks should go after Christian Wood. And I, I, that's kind of interesting. The Knicks can put a package together of, um, Kimber Walker, uh, um, Cam Reddish, and Mitchell Robinson to send them over there and see, uh, let's see how that worked out. You know what I'm saying? It's interesting. Let me, let me see. Let me see. I want to read a little bit of it. I'm, I'm trying to, like, I'm, I know I'm a little hesitant because I'm trying to bring it up on my screen and my, my internet is actually acting up. I'm kind of slow right here, right now, which is getting on my nerve. Like I said, uh, they were talking about post, realistic post lottery trades. And I'm going to bring the article up and then we can read a little bit of it. And then we're going to get out of here. Matter of fact, I'm going to come back. I'm going to hit you with Johnny Davis and strength because um, I do want the Knicks to um, draft Johnny Davis. I'm not going to lie to you. I'd rather, I'd rather them take um, Johnny Davis with the 11th pick over Jalen Duran. And here we go right here. Let's go right to this article right here. Let's get here. Let's get past it. Let's get past it. Let's get past it. Let's get past it. All right. Let's get past here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, forgive me because um is it acting up and I can't bring it up. So 
I do apologize for that. But let's go back over here to my man. Um, I do apologize. I'm being honest because this screen is definitely acting up for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not working with the way I want it to. I guess I gotta get a better producer. <laughs> Well, we see the layout. Um, Nick's got the number 11 pick. I'm hoping the Knicks go out there and get Johnny Davis. I'm going to be honest with you. I really do hope the Knicks get Johnny Davis. The man, like I said, he's, not, he's a fifth best guard. In my opinion, I think he's the best guard. No, I'm not going to say that because I like Jade, um, Jaden Ivory. I'm being, uh, I definitely like Jaden Ivory. But I do like Johnny Davis. I'm not going to lie to you. I do like him. Um, let's just slide over to slide over here to Johnny real quick. Check out some um, check out some of his stats or whatever. Alright. Johnny Davis, sophomore, shooting guard. He's 6'5", 196 pounds. 20 years old, born February 27, 2000. USA, baby, USA. Uh, from Wisconsin, lacrosse, lacrosse, Wisconsin. His strengths, you can deep, uh, see the rebounding, defense, defense rebounds as, as well. Uh, his blocks per minute, defensive rating, and you know Tibbs going to like that. Defensive win share. You know, free throw attempt rate, all that is good. We got to work on his efficiency, uh, his three point shots, his turnovers, and in, in the off is great. And some things you have to work on. But like I said, I like this kid. I, really, I like this kid a lot. And as I said, ranked number five on the um, guards coming out of college. You got Jaden Ivy. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't. Shaden Sharp, I know a lot of people's high on Shaden Sharp, but will it be this? Will he have that same Mitchell Robinson effect just for miss, missing college? I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, a lot of people came straight out of high school and they did their thing. Trace McGrady, Kobe Bryant, just to name a few. But um, I, I don't know. I, I want to see. I don't know. I want to see what I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I want to see what Shaden Sharp do in the NBA. But this is about the New York Knicks. Um, and who we should draft, and I'm be honest with you, we all know the Knicks is not going to have a chance to um draft Shaden Sharp, especially where we drafting that. So it is what it is. Um, I'm looking at the time, and it's time for me to get out of here. With that being said, I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and peace. <laughs>